Hey, and welcome back to Home Reviews. In today's video, we're gonna be unboxing and setting up and running this new Roborock Q Revo. Now, if you look in the background there, you'll see my cat, but also you'll see what I have setting there, which is a D-Bot T20 that we got here a while back. And this one here, the Roborock Q Revo is supposed to have almost identical features and it's a little bit cheaper. So um, I'm anxious to try this out and see how well it works. You can see inside the box here what you get. You get the Revo, you get the dock, the base, disposable dust bags, power cables, the rotating mop modules, and a product manual. So let's keep turning it and see what's on the back. Looks like it also has a 3D map layout, which I like. I currently have this with the D-Bot 2. And then down here, you can see some of the features that come along with this. So I'm anxious to get this out of the box and so isn't one of my other cats. We're gonna take a look at this and get it set up. Everything's out of the box and here's what we got. So first of all, you got your mopping pads. These feel very nice. The quality of them just feels really good. You can see how big they are. So you get two of these, one goes on each side. I'm gonna have some guides here. You have some extra filter bags, that's for your dust bin, which is behind this. You simply lift this up and uh, it comes out and you can change it. You got your power cord, your Roborock Q Revo, and then up here you have your main base station. So this is where it's going to go to when it needs to empty water, when it needs to get new water. You can see here that water goes in here and this is the dirty water. So all you have to do is lift these up and you got a latch right there that lifts up so you can put water in it. And then the same thing with the dirty water. Uh, you got a latch over here on this side. You're just gonna take it out and you're going to empty it. This here connects to the bottom of the base station here. It makes it easier for this to go up into it when it needs to go in and clean itself up. Now the other thing I wanna show you is this quick start guide. So you can see everything that was in this box that was packaged, which was right here and my cats are checking out now. But you can see the installation, how that base snaps on, how to hook up the power in the back where the power cord goes into. So all we have to do to get this going is really set it up and get water in it. We're gonna download the app, which the QR code's right there. We're gonna scan it with our phone. And then you can see here, there's a QR code on the inside of the uh, vacuum. So if we lift up this section here, and this is something that I really like about the Roborock, the new D-Bots, you have to lift up the entire top part of it to get to anything. And they didn't do that in the past, and I don't know why they do it now with their new ones. But this one here, you can just lift up this little section. There's your dust bin, there's your QR code, and there's your power button. Super simple to get to, super easy. Now, all right, so I'm gonna get all this set up, and we're gonna download the app and see what it'll do. Okay, so I want to show you this app because I'm looking through it and I'm seeing things on here that I did not know that this Q Revo could do. So what I'm going to suggest, because I haven't ran this yet, so I don't know for sure, is I have the link below this video that will take you to Amazon. So if you're interested in this, just make sure you go there and you check out all the features and everything too, just to make sure that what I'm going to show you is accurate with this version of the Robo Rock. Okay. So this is the main part of your app where it shows you the cleaning area, the battery level, and the cleaning time. Obviously, I haven't ran it yet, so there's nothing to show. Down here, you can see the full, the rooms, and the zones. So once we have the entire house mapped out, I'll be able to click on rooms, and it'll actually show me different rooms in the house. And then there's also different zones you can set. Now, if I click the little icon in the bottom right that looks like swirls, it's going to bring up some options. So where you can do vac and mop options, mopping only, vacuum only, or you can set your own customized options here. Under vac and mop, you can set the suction power from low to high. The same with the water flow. It says no mop installed. I haven't put the pads on it yet, so I need to do that. Then I can also choose the water level and then the route. If I want it to be on standard like this, or if I want it to move in a zigzag uh, like this here. And so you may just want to run it to see how it works to decide what works best for you. Now, other than that, you have the clean button and the dock button. So if you hit clean, it's going to start going out and working. If you hit docked, it's going to show you some options that it can do right now since it's docked, which is empty the dust pans, wash the pads, or dry the pads. And then up in the upper right hand corner, you'll see three dots. If you click that, it's gonna open up a ton of different options for this Roborock Q Revo. So first of all, you can manage your maps. So once it maps the house, you can save them, you can edit them, or you can delete them. 
You can also set up schedules, and that's what I've done with my D-Bot. I absolutely love it for that reason because we have kids, we have pets, and we honestly just don't have time to clean the house every day and run the broom and the mop over it. And so we set it on a schedule, and as long as we keep water in it, it just does everything on its own, and our house has been staying so much cleaner. You got reactive obstacle avoidance. So you can see here, you can read over that, but basically it won't run into obstacles as much. Carpet settings, you can go in here. It has a dynamic lift option, avoid, ignore, carpet boost, and deep carpet cleaning. I am not gonna read over all of these, but if you're interested in any of these features, you can just pause the video to read them. There's floor cleaning settings. You got dock settings. Oh, and this is something that I need to update as well. So you have your mop wash frequency. How often do you want it to come back to the station and um, clean the mop pads? Now my other one, I think I have it set on the D-Bot for less time, but it looks like, yeah, 10 minutes. So 10 minutes is the minimum, and then go clear up to 25. I have mine on 10, that way it's just a lot more sanitary. The washing mode, so if we click on this, you got light, balanced, or deep. Auto emptying, so it'll empty after cleanup. Obviously you wanna keep that on and the auto drying, it's up to you whether you have that on, and then how often, uh, by default, it's set for three hours. And here you have the robot voice, so it will talk to you and tell you when it's charging or when something's wrong, and you can change this from English to other languages. The robot settings, you've got button lights, do not disturb mode, a custom do not disturb mode, a start time and end time, so if you're sleeping or don't want it to be running so, to a certain time, you can set that up. Off-peak charging, offline map, and then you can set your units here. And then it has something called pin and go. This is very neat. So I've never seen this before, but once you have your map outline, it looks like here you can do a spot clean and you can just click anywhere on the map and it will go to that area and do a spot clean. I think that is so cool. And that's actually a feature that we use a lot because maybe somebody spills something or something gets knocked over or whatever it is and we just want to get that cleaned up. And so it's, it can be a pain just to get it to go to a certain area to do it, but I think that's going to make it much easier. And then it says remote control. So this is one of those options that I was telling you about that I don't know for sure if it's on this or not. Uh, I'm going to be pretty impressed if it is because it doesn't say on the front of the box, but here it looks like you're able to control it. It says here a joystick. And so you can basically tell it where you want it to go to clean. You got your cleaning history, maintenance, and so what this does is it just shows the remaining life and all the accessories on your mop. You got firmware updates, which I already did mine, and so that's all there is to this. So once this thing gets charged up, we're going to hit clean and we're going to see what this can do. So we got it running. We just started it, and so far it is being really accurate. Check out how close it's getting to everything as it's going around and scanning and trying to figure out uh, where everything is in the house. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it do that. But one thing I love about this is that it is rather quiet and I, I don't have the sweeper turned up very loud at all on it though, so that may be one reason why. But I'm gonna go ahead and let this finish mapping out an area and then we're gonna take a look at the map and then uh, pick out some areas for it to actually target and clean. Okay, so we've got everything set up for the Robo Rock. You can see I'm inside of my app now. And you can also here on the main page of this set up different routines and things for this to do. I haven't got into that yet, but so far I am absolutely loving this robot floor cleaner. So let's go ahead and enter this. And it's loaded our map. Now the first thing I see is that this map that it generates is so much better and clearer than the one the D-Bot does. So here you can see where it just ran out in the middle of my floor. You can see those lines where it just went out. Uh, I sent it out and done a spot clean. I'm gonna show you how that works here in a minute. You can see my couches. So it's like a big long section of couches there. And then we have over here an island that's in the middle and then my kitchen area. And then there's a downstairs. And then back here's my bedroom. And I have the red box there because that's like a no-go zone that you can set up on different places of your house because we have some cords underneath of our bed running that we use for charging our phones and stuff. And sometimes they get caught up in these sweepers and it's just hard to get under the bed to get it out. So I just put this as a no-go zone for now. And it's really nice that it does that. Now you can go into your map. First of all, let's go ahead and click on rooms. And it breaks down the different rooms and shows you. And so you can actually choose which room you want it to clean in. And then you also have zones that you can set up. Now, on the right-hand side, you'll see something looks like a cube. If you click that, 
it opens up map details. So you got your room name, floor type, furniture, obstacle. This is all things that you can add and do to it. Now underneath that cube is an edit button. And if you click that, it's gonna show you here where you can back up your map, you can give it a name, you can delete it, you can set up no-go zones, you can edit your room, edit furniture, and edit the types of services in each room. So there's all kinds of stuff you can do to this for each room to identify and just make it easier for the robot to clean it. Now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and go into one of these settings. So let me go up here and click on these three dots in the top right. I wanna go down and click on pin and go. And what I'm gonna do is click on a spot here on my map. So right in the same area where it went before, I'm just gonna click. And then I'm gonna click on go. And what I'll do is I will record it and show you guys what it does as it goes out and it spots cleans. She just said started spot cleaning. And you probably didn't hear it because I didn't get my camera back up fast enough after going to the app. But I'm gonna go ahead and let this run so you can see how well it cleans. Now what I'll do below this video, if you're interested in the RoboRock or even the D-Bot, I will put both their links below this video so you can go there, check them out, uh, look over the features, see which ones would best suit you and your needs for your home. You can see there, it doesn't miss a spot. You can see where it's, it's really mopping the wood floors very, very well. And it actually looks like it, it overlaps them each time. And now that it's done, let's see. It says it's finished, it's done cleaning, so now I need to go back into the app, send it back over here uh, to the dock where what it's going to do is end up washing the pads again. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to set up a schedule. So this will just run every single day around 10 o'clock and vacuum my whole upstairs. And then maybe a couple times a week, three times a week, I'm going to set it to also mop. So it'll go around and mop the entire upstairs too. So if you have kids, if you have pets, if you got fur around your house or just things all over the floor that never seem to uh, have the time to go and just clean it up, sweep it up, you guys really should look into getting one of these. They are amazing. They can make your life so much easier when you want to clean and just don't have the time to do it. So that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoy these types of reviews, please subscribe to my channel and I'll let you know when I put out new videos. Thanks. Have a great day.